Grace and peace in the name of Jesus. This is Pastor Steve, Preachhead Ministries, coming at you once again with Psalms 119, something to remember those who are blessed. We're going to read verses 1 through 16, Psalms 103. Let's start, please. Verse 1, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. So we see right away who is going to be blessed according to the word of God and who is not. Blessed are they that walk in the law of the Lord. They are undefiled by doing this. Verse 2, blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. This is the promise to all those that are true believers. You will be blessed if you seek the Lord with your whole heart. And sometimes it's a hard thing to do, but you must meditate on this word day and night. Your whole mind and your whole being. Verse 3, they also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. They, he said, thou has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. The Lord has. He's given us the divine path to walk in and has commanded us to keep his precepts with a diligent heart. Fervent. Verse 6. Verse 5. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Verse 6. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. In other words, you cannot praise the Lord with uprightness of heart unless you have learned how to to praise him, what the Lord requires to serve him. You will get people to say, well, I can serve God my way. You can serve him your way, not according to the word of God. You have to serve him according to the due order. And the only way that you can find out truly how to serve God is read the instructions that are written here in this Bible. Verse 8, I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. Verse 9, wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? This is a question. How can a young man cleanse his way? People know that they need God, but there's so many doctrines, there's so many avenues, there's so many churches, there's so many denominations. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. The only way that you can cleanse your way is through the washing of the water by the word, by taking heed to thereunto according to thy word. Verse 19, with my whole heart have I sought thee, or let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might sin against thee. This is the secret. You must hide the word of God within you so that you will not sin or break the laws of God. Verse 12, Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. So this is an exhortation for us to totally engulf ourselves into the word of God, to take it into our minds, to take it into our hearts, that it may direct us in the way that we should go. Last verse, verse 16. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. People, these are the true spiritual riches, the word of God. These are the statutes, the judgments, the directions that have been given us from a holy God that we may obey them and become holy. May God give you peace. May he grant you the things that you need in order to conquer yourselves and everything that is opposed to God. In Jesus' name, this is Preacher Head uh, Ministries, Pastor Steve, signing off to you. May God give a blessing to the reading of his word. If you like what you hear, please visit our site, preacherhead.org, and where you can see blogs and get music and find other things that we're doing. And if you want to donate, there's a donate button there. If not, just read what it is that we have there and pray that we keep this ministry going. May God add you, grant you peace and love in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen.